This is how I plant my coconut. As you can see, the coconut has two shells. It has an outer shell, which is a fibery shell, and it's waterproof. It's um, all type of weatherproof. Both shells are all, are all type of weatherproof. The inner shell is the hard shell. It houses the water and the flesh of the coconut. I don't plant the coconut like that. I don't plant it on its head. I plant it sideways. So the roots comes down and the shoot, the young coconut shoot goes up. I plant it, usually plant it in, you can plant it all the year round, you know, because it has water in there. And as I said, the shell, all the shell, the whole coconut access a compost or manure to feed the young shoot. But it's best to plant it three days before the full moon and three days after the full moon. Or you could use the calendar where you plant stuff and then plant stuff like as a barbecue gun. The coconut is a barbecue gun because it's as you can see, I have a pretty deep dug hole here, shallow dug hole. So I put the coconut on the side here and I put the dug hole over it. As you can see, you're probably wondering why how comes there's a lot of coconut growing on, on the beach? As you can see, when it rains, the dry coconut falls from the, the tree and lands on the ground. The rainwater and um, washes it into the ravine or to the river and then it goes into the sea. And sometimes it stays on the sea. As you can see, you could use the other um, skin as a as a as a, uh, to build a boat because it's waterproof and it floats on the sea for basically probably two months or less than that and whatever goes into the sea has to come out so the waves push it onto the beach and usually coconuts are growing in tropical climate or subtropical climate uh, other islands or countries and the waves that pushes it onto the beach and then when the waves no longer push it any farther the coconut then anchor itself on the on the sand and it starts growing. The root goes on into the sand and into the earth, and then the, tree, the small shoot comes up. And it might take about uh, five years to start bearing, or ten years according to the type of the coconut. And usually, um, a lot of people use coconut cream. They process it at home. You know, they take the cream out of, out of it and use it as um, cooking ingredients. Or manufacturers um, uh, take the, the, the take the cream out of the coconut and basically package it and sell it to the world in supermarket and other shops and so forth like this so you could use as um, cooking ingredients as you can see this is the humble coconut and there's a lot of property in that that'll be another video